Now, I'm working with a boy up. He's a young dude. He's doing absolutely fantastic for himself. 80K months, stuff like this. And he called me up because he wanted me to help him essentially lead a team. He wanted me to help him, you know, do the psychology thing where we build out a team around him that's efficient. And there's a, there's <laughs> something came up out of this that I've seen before many times. I've worked with other people in similar facilities and I see this happen. But this guy was particularly uh, a particularly good example of this because he was quite young. And he's very similar to me in some sense. Highly creative dude. Highly creative dude. Now, when I was his age, I was super creative and my, what we would say, my conscientiousness was lacking. You know, I wasn't the most disciplined. I wasn't the most well put together and orientated in this way. I couldn't get stuff done. And he's after becoming very successful through his creativity. He works on YouTube. And so his creativity has brought him up to an incredible level of success and wealth. He's doing fantastic at his age. Unbelievable. But <laughs> when he starts, when he goes out and he needs to start hiring people, he starts to make the, the, the simplest mistake of all, which is very, you know, it's a very normal mistake he hires people that are like him now think about this because this is an important thing if you're running a business of some sort you're looking to try hire people you're trying to put people together you're probably going to make this mistake because what's the natural thing to do when you want to build a team it's like build people get people like me get people you have lots of things in common for you can vibe together you know you talk about the big ideas businesses that have two creative people are probably are almost <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't want to speak with too much authority, but fuck me, I'd say they fucking struggle, man. I say it's hard to get them things up and running because two creative people are, it's like two, it's, it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work. Why? Because everybody, will, they'll sit there all day in the meeting room coming up with big ideas and not getting anything done. So what this guy would do is that he'd hire people and he'd take in the application and when they start to speak his language, the language of a creative, he'd get hyped and he'd pull them in immediately. And then what would happen is they'd say, for example, we get an editor or something like this, we pull him in immediately and we're, <laughs> we're working with him and then all of a sudden the guy just like drops out halfway through or loses motivation or takes on another project or has this big idea but can't fulfill it and all this type of stuff. So the creativity that was so attractive that's so exciting that that the guy the the the, the leader the ceo the recognizes is actually the trait that is most detrimental towards a productive and conscientious and consistent worker and so why i was telling them something i was saying listen bro you know it's, it's a bit of a black pill but why don't you try to take people who are less talented even but more importantly, they're, they do, they're not like you. They're like opposite of you. They might be a bit drab and boring. And for example, I train him on like how to recognize the traits of a conscientious person, of someone who's very organized and specific. How would you try to look for people like this? And they're not going to be, they're not going to be the best vibe. You know, they might not even like be super into the project as much as you might want them in some way. Although passion's of course important, but they're not going to be completely what you expect. But you're looking for these traits that they have that are going to matter more, which is that they get things done on time they're consistent they take the orders and directions quite well they follow up on all this type of stuff and this is difficult because all of a sudden now you're trying to find the, the person that's opposite to you but of course this is like you know the polarity between man and woman it's not woman is opposite to man and that's why actually the glory of how we work we're different but our differences united make us a stronger team and this is the same situation here it's like you know you're looking for what is opposite of you, what is different to you. And actually this becomes this sort of Jungian dynamic tension, you know, where you have the, the perfect opposites you can see, the perfect shadow for what you can see. You as a creative finds a conscientious organizer and oh my God, this is the perfect person for you to have. And you'd see this an awful lot in the conscientious organizers. I speak to a lot of them as well. And they can't, <laughs> they can't get anything done. They get, they're, they're really good at doing things, but they can't find any creative inspiration. They can't, they can't come up with ideas. They can't organize things in the big picture. I have another friend and um, Laszlo was on the channel before and he's working with a gentleman and he, this 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 is an old friend of his and it was the same it was the, it was like the opposite but so the old friend of his was just like a dog just like work conscientious as hell just the gets everything done and all this type of stuff but he's like a, a dog with like no direction he just doesn't know where he's going doesn't know what was he, he was doing and he basically called up Laszlo one day and he was like man I'm after building up this like massive uh, audience on LinkedIn but I don't know what I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I don't know what to do with these people. I have no direction. I have no big vision. I have no big goal. And this is beautiful. I, when I heard this, I was like, yes, because this exactly describes what I've seen, what I've noticed is that this is how these two are made for each other. And so Laszlo steps in and he sort of guides him. He gives him a direction. He gives him a vision and they start working together and building something awesome. And this is the thing is that without without the visionary, without the creative, he's sort of blind. But the creative without the person who, who's organized is, is, is mute, is dumb, is ineffective. This is the perfect harmony and perfect marriage.
So when it comes to setting up partnerships, when it comes to building your businesses and all this type of stuff, you need to know how people work. As again, my old shtick, psychology is a goldmine skill. This is what I mean by this. It's no fucking joke. If you get this stuff wrong, you can tank a business. You can lose a massive amount of income. This guy that we we're setting up this team for, when he, you know, he takes in these creative people, they, they tank whole projects. They tank whole projects. It's not like I'm laughing about it now, but in the moment, it's not funny. Because, you know, you're, you're building something up, you're preparing for a deadline. There's all serious stuff on the line. There's people offering to drop, you know, 50, 80, 100K sponsorships. And then this guy just pulls out in the last week because he feels like it or because he got lost or he got overwhelmed or something like this. All this bullshit that a conscientious person doesn't tell you. And that's no joke. That means you miss out on $80,000 because you made a mistake with your personality choices. That's not fucking good. That's something you should really correct. So this is my shtick now. So this is what I'm saying to you. You need to learn how to apply this psychology to the real world. And believe me, if you're interested in this stuff, my God, you're going to open up so many doors for yourself. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be unbelievable. So I encourage you to ponder this and work on this. And if you're interested in getting me in there to work with you, if you want to talk about this and get me to train you on how to do this, say you're t building a team, say you're running some type of operation or organization, yes, I can come in, I can help you, make sure that you correctly psychologically model everybody, get the most potential out of them, become the best leader that you possibly can, communicate and all these type of things to make sure that you do your best, you actually scale and you don't see your business tanking because you make a lot of stupid choices because believe me, that does happen. Instead, we want to see you go to the goddamn fucking moon. We want to see you scale with this team, this army around you. We want to see you to be the captain on top of the ship with the telescope looking at the far horizon everybody rowing the mass going up all in unison while you lead and guide like the visionary creative that you should be so if that is you or maybe if you're the conscientious bull give me a shout apply down below just write in tell me tell me a little bit about yourself i will read this i will hear more about you please present yourself as best as you possibly can i will check out how everything is going and we'll set up a chat and we'll talk about working together so thank you very much for your time stay juicy bye bye